Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I'm gonna be reviewing my favorite cop cars, part two. Two, part two. Two. But the first one up for the first one up is just gonna be or it is gonna be making so many dents in this video. Oh geez. Two thousand a two thousand Chevrolet Suburban NYPD car. No light bar or anything like that. They're mostly on the inside, but you obviously can't see that. That's our first car. The second car is a NYPD GMC Wrecker. Um, it's a really cool tow truck. It looks pretty cool. And it's real. Uh, and then for our next video, sorry for the noises in the background. But this is the next one. It's a BMW motorcycle. Um, the next video will probably be a motorcycle review, but here we go, it's focused. Like I was saying, it is going to be a motorcycle review of my favorite motorcycles. But the next one up is a Jeep Cherokee. Sorry for the noises. Um, State Trooper, Texas Department of Public Safety, and Texas Highway Patrol down there. <clears throat> um, it does have a light bar up there, but it's all blue. Next one is a Dutch Challenger, I believe. Dutch Charger. Pursuit, sorry. Um, that's that car, sorry. Again, you can see it has some lights, even though it's blurry. It has four lights right there, you can kind of see it. I need a new camera. Um, and that's that. <laughs> So our next one is a 2015 Ram 1500. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Here we go, Ram 1500. Um, it does have a light bar, but no marking, so it is a unmarked cop car, um, truck, whatever you want to say. The next one is a Crown Victoria. You've seen this many times. One in my first favorite video, and one in Crown Victoria's new hubcaps. But I came back with the good old original Steelies, and I put some lights on it. So this is the front. Um, the light bar up there is pretty messed up. That's okay. These are the two grill lights. This is my favorite part about the vehicle. The grill lights right there. Then we move to the back. This also looks very cool. The top light bar, we have these two mini lights. And we have these two lights down here. And it looks really cool. i probably seen that little chip. You remember that in the front dent. I'm not sure if I'm going to be having any more videos with this, but probably will in the future. Uh, moving on to the next vehicle. We have a Bomb Squad truck, number 880 80 if you want to put it this way, or just number 8 if you want to put it that way. But it has nice black wheels. It is a Tonka, it says Bomb Squad up there. Um, you could obviously tell it's police, so number 8 or 80 if you want to say 80, but it's 8. But that's that truck, and moving on to the last three. This is the Chevy Impala and the doors do open that's one side if you want to see the inside it is pretty detailed in there um, and then we go to the other side um, it doesn't have a computer but it does have a tiny thing up there if I'll focus, there we go you see the little computer thingy down there and the sirens right in there Looks really nice, but that's it. And then the back. That is the back. There's a prisoner in the back. No, there's not, but I'm just saying that. Um, there is no prisoner in the back. I thought there was for a second. Ah, uh, I'm losing it today. Um, it has a blue Chevrolet logo in the front. It's a tiny bit chipped or move to the right, but that's that car. 
Moving on to the last two. This is the Ford Taurus. And it's messed up wheels. Look at that. That is glue. That is not good quality for a video. How dare I do that? I know. Um, leave a comment down below. What was your favorite cop car in this video? Um, but this is the Ford Taurus. The hood pops. I believe it does. Does the, does the hood pop? Pretty sure. Hold on. The old trick. I don't know. I think this pops. Mm, don't think so. I'm not sure. No, it looks like it does back there. Um, sorry. It does look like it does, though. It does look like it does. Wow. Um, let me open the door from right here. And you can see the black interior. <clears throat> And if you look very closely at the steering wheel, if it focus, it turns left. Ay ay ay! Hold on. And let's pick up something. Sorry, this is taking so long. It's bad quality. I know you don't like that. So this is the back. It is Ford. Police and another Ford for the license plate. Now go back to right here. Oh no, it has to stop doing that. Um, I'll open the other side too. There we go. Maybe the other side will work better. Um, I don't know if this video is going to be so glitchy for you guys or not. But let's go back to this side. So it moves left and right left right darn this video um i'll go back to the front so you see the wheel and you see that inside there it is moving don't know if you can see that don't think you can um let me back this up a little oh no this video is going to be so bad. Here we go. So you see the wheel? I turn it right. Steering wheel right. Left. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Let's go on left. And right. And going on to the next car is the final car. My favorite car. The unmarked Chevy Tahoe. So let's say you're just going down the street. Looks like a normal cop car. Let's say that's not there. It turns its lights on. Boom. You see that light? You see the backlights, <clears throat> the huge light bar, and the two tiny lights down here. Then we go to the other side. <clears throat> you see the same lights as the other side. And those are the lights right there. And then you go to the front, which is just so cool. And these light bars are homemade, by the way. It's from Crayons. Um, it has a top light bar right there, as you can just see that. <clears throat> the grill lights, which I really like, like the Crown Victoria. Um, the yellow Chevy logo. And mirror lights. It's red there and blue there. And I gotta say, these are my favorite part. This is my favorite part. These are my favorite parts of the vehicle. So, I'll see you guys next time on Anchor 77. I mean 13. That's how lost I am. Bye.